Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today we're going to be talking about all things 7.20. Before we start, make sure to drop a like down below, hit the notification bell, and comment down below which most excited for in this update, and yeah, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is a bug fix, a major bug fix that I think all of us are very, very grateful for. So, many, many places around the map, most notably that little Death Valley in between Tilted and Salty, uh, the River Valley, you know what I'm talking about. You try to place a wall, and it places underground leaving you exposed. Sometimes you may not even have enough materials to build another wall, so it's it, it, it can get a little bit frustrating, but don't worry, epic to the rescue, that is all gonna be changed in this update. So basically, it'll build two walls, one that is like 90 or 70 percent underground and then the other one you know af actually protects you and the good thing is it only uses 10 materials so you'll be covered and whatnot they said they're thinking about doing other builds such as stairs pyramids but they're just keeping it to walls at the moment the next thing we're gonna be talking about is a new weapon and that is the scoped revolver you you heard it here folks this scoped revolver is coming to fortnite battle royale this is probably one of the most ridiculous things i've ever heard uh, but you know, you know, it's their game. They can do whatever they want. So yeah, it's it's coming. I have no I have no idea why, but it's coming. Another thing that I'm gonna be talking about is that glider redeploy is coming back in a kind of unexpected form. So basically, there's going to be an item that uh, supposedly you can hold in your inventory, either either your inventory or trap slot. But I'm guessing it's gonna be your inventory. Maybe it'll be like a cloud or something, or like. I have no, I I have no idea, but um supposedly it's in it's in your inventory and if you have it you have glider redeploy. There might be like a damage indicator, kind of like how there was with jetpacks, but I feel like that'd just be too much of a convoluted system, and I don't, I don't even know how that would work. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. Another thing is coming from Reddit. Somebody posted, why is it that when I finish a game I have five legendary turrets and zero blue campfires? Campfires are blue so I should at least find one a game, but it's like campfires are legendary and turrets are green. Don't know if this is intentional, but it's something I've noticed lately. I want more campfires than turrets and that's how it should be. And yes, I agree. I completely agree. Turrets are just way too, way too regular. Although people have stopped using turrets as much and they're easier to counter it still is kind of annoying having 15 turrets uh, one trap and like three campfires or maybe maybe even less than that actually I rarely get three campfires I don't know what I'm talking about but then an epic employee commented on that post saying we're in the process of evaluating drop rates for trap and the hope is to make some tweaks here for 7.20 thanks for your input so hopefully hopefully maybe they might rearrange the colors uh, traps I, if, if I had to rearrange the color for traps I would say traps uh, just spike traps are blue turrets should be gold but actually spawn as gold and campfires should be green but that's just my opinion I don't know what epic is gonna do but they said a few tweaks for 7.20 so we're gonna be looking forward to that another thing that we might get in 7.20 but isn't exactly confirmed is a bug that has uh, I've only experienced a few times but when I have it has been really really annoying so basically it happens when you slide on ice either at greasy or up by the mountain near that little Viking ship thing or just slide on any ice in general um, you come off of it and your screen is shaking violently I, I can try and put some footage up the other actually the other day I was playing a game and it just I, I it just happened so it was uh, it was a, a little bit frustrating uh, but somebody posted on reddit and mr. popo TFS who is an epic employee commented thanks a bunch for this very helpful so it sounds like they might be doing something with 7.20 if not the next update guaranteed and one last thing I want to remind you guys is that we have around 42 hours, I think, at this time of recording. 42 hours until 14 days of Fortnite is gone for good. So make sure to get all your challenges done. There are a few nifty items in there. If you haven't seen my 14 days of Fortnite tutorial series, I'll link it in the description. I'll put it up on screen. If you need help with anything, just refer to those videos. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Nothing really that interesting for this update. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.